Hey, what is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Happy almost 2023. It is crazy to me how fast this year has gone by. I have said that so many times at the beginning of videos, so you know it's true. Uh, the last couple of years have been very, very strange in Pokemon, and I know there's a lot of focus and talk about, like, the bad days, right? Where it was Scalper City, uh, Scalper Paradise, where people were going around buying packs at Target, at Walmart, selling them for triple MSRP online. It was nuts. There was no supply, and demand was still, like, at an all-time high. But we don't spend a lot of time talking about the past year and what's happened. Pokemon is in a really, really great place, especially if you compare it to where it was last year at this exact same time. Uh, booster boxes had fallen to $90, $95. You could buy Evolving Skies right around this time, uh, maybe a little bit earlier than this, for right around $100, and it's crazy how much has changed. We're going to look at Evolving Skies in the uh, next couple videos, but this one we're going to focus on Lost Origin, and I think Pokemon really hit a home run with the Trainer Gallery. Trainer Gallery uh, might be a huge, huge play in the future as we move forward because it doesn't look like it's going to continue in Scarlet and Violet, at least that's what the rumors are. Uh, so the end of March, we might not have a trainer gallery subsets in Pokemon releases for like Scarlet and Violet for that generation. So we have Crown Zenith coming out January 20th. We're going to transition over to the Galarian Gallery, which is going to bring a lot of trainer gallery-esque cards to the market. Uh, and then after that, it looks like uh, at the end of March, when Scarlet and Violet uh, comes out, it's going to be very interesting. We might have to look, we're going to have to look real closely at pull rates to see what things look like at Scarlet and Violet, because I think a lot of these uh, end of era sets for Sword and Shield are going to be in demand because pull rates are going to be so much better when you're looking at about 14 hits per booster box if you include trainer gallery cards and radiant collection cards. And that's why uh, we see a lot of these booster boxes really starting to climb. Also, the lack of reprints, the lack of reprints that we have. We haven't had any additional stock really hit the market. So it's, it's absolutely insane. Like I said, we're going to look at Lost Origin today. If you enjoy the content, if you want to show your support, please hit that subscribe button down below. That's really the best thing that you can do to show your support. Leave a like, leave a comment, share the channel. Uh, go so far for the algorithm. Uh, if you don't like the content, if you don't want to show your support, then don't do any of those things. I have to continue to do a uh, better job then of, uh, of providing content to make you want to hit that uh, that subscribe button. But tomorrow, uh, December 28th at 10 a.m. Central Time, we're going to do an extremely long like desperation sellout stream. Go down swing in with a fight to try and get, you know, one last ditch effort to try and get to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, it's probably not going to happen, but it's just going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be streaming starting at 10 a.m. Central Time. Like, it's going to be all day because we've got like 2,000 booster packs to open up. It's going to be absolutely insane. Come by, hang out. I hope to see you guys there. Uh, we're going to do giveaways. It's going to be a lot of fun. Just opening up some cards, chatting Pokemon, having fun, hanging out, uh, kind of ending 2022, moving into 2023. With that, being said. I'm going to flip you guys around. We're going to look at Lost Origin. Lost Origin was delayed, remember, when it originally came out. It was supposed to be in August. That's usually when we get uh, that release, that scheduled release, right before Worlds. However, they delayed it because of Worlds uh, and didn't come out until September 9th. So it's only about three months old right now, a little over that. So we're only going to be looking at three months of data uh, Lost Origin just had one print wave, one big wave, some leftover boxes that were left at distribution, but right now very difficult to get, especially at wholesale costs, especially at the wholesale costs that you're used to getting as a storefront. One of the bad things is, is most distributors right now are pretty much tapped out on all booster boxes because so many booster boxes have hit the market and we haven't had reprints or even announcements of reprints. So if you're a storefront looking to get additional booster boxes right now, you're kind of playing, uh, paying inflated costs if your distributor even has any available right now very difficult to find. Lost Origin, it's part of the reason that it has started to climb up so much. You can see at the beginning of September when it released, it was down close to that $100 mark. Uh, end of September, it hit $99.63. That was when you could find uh, a booster box of Lost Origin for under $100. And that's really only happened for a few days before it started going up, got back up above $100 and kind of stayed there all the way up until the beginning of December where it really started shooting up end of November there. Right now it's sitting at $113.82, which is a three month high. And you can bet it's going to continue to climb unless additional supply hits the market. If that's going to happen, uh, I don't know. There has not been any news from Pokemon communicated to distributors as far as reprints go, restocks go. You would assume sets like Lost Origin, Silver Tempest being so new in the format would get reprinted at some point, uh, but we don't really know. And especially with MSRP rising up, raising up at the end of March, uh, Pokemon has already announced that they will continue with the old MSRP for older booster boxes. So the likelihood of them reprinting uh, a product that 
that costs less than a new product seems a little bit more unlikely, but it is possible. So we will we will see as we move forward. Obviously, I will keep you updated as soon as I get any information regarding reprints. Garatina V is really the talk of Lost Origin, the chase card for a lot of different people. It has skyrocketed like crazy. It's backed off a little bit over the last month or so, but you can see it hit a, a three-month high in uh, beginning of December, uh, $288.81. Absolutely insane. This card has really skyrocketed. It's kind of got a gris Christmas feel to it, right? With all the colors in the background, all the like light bulb colors in the background. Really, really cool. Uh, a lot of people enjoy the artwork on this card. It stayed consistent pretty much after release where it jumped up to about $215, $220. Stayed that way all the way up to the beginning of November before really starting to take off. You can see it's low point, 218.80. Looks like it hit about on November 1st before it was like, boom, we're going to explode in price now. And it's really just consistently gone that way. Not the same case for a lot of other alternate arts. A lot of alternate arts are really starting to back off a little bit. We'll talk about that later in the week. Uh, but Giratina V uh, doing extremely well. Same thing with Aerodactyl, definitely trending upward. Uh, you can see some dips here, but still uh, in the upward trajectory uh, for Aerodactyl V. 132.93 is its uh, three-month high, which it hit at the beginning of December before backing off a little bit. You can see it's settling at 127.85 right now. Still much closer to its three-month high than its three-month low, which it hit in the middle of October. Dropped down to 119.69. When this card originally released, it was right around $100 when the set released. However, it skyrocketed very, very quickly. Uh, you can see 127.85 right now. It's a really cool looking card uh, flying over, you know, kind of the panoramic view, looking at uh, Arceus, looking at Legends of Arceus, looking at that entire uh, Hisui uh, location. It, it's really, really beautiful. I uh, love the artwork for the Aerodactyl. Rotom V, my favorite card in the Lost Origin set. I really love the artwork on this card. All the different Rotoms kind of hanging out in the background. Not a whole lot of movement in this card, except in the downward motion. Uh, $40.50 is its three-month low, which it hit a couple weeks ago. It's sitting at $40.67 right now, so hovering right around that three-month low. You can see at the end of October, it did hit a three-month high of $49.56, but, uh, but it's dropped about 20% since then, so staying at $40.67 right now. Definitely a card to keep an eye on as we move forward, uh, see how far, what it looks like as far as uh, when it bottoms out. Galarian Persecur. The graphing is a little weird on this one. I included the graph, uh, but the data is actually accurate. So it did hit 4304 not too long after release, and you can see it pretty much settling at $40 over the last three months. That's actually not accurate. It did drop down to 3707. It's risen back up a little bit, hovering right at $40 right now. Not a whole lot of demand for the Galarian Persecur V. Really cool looking card, uh, but probably the least favorite of the alternate arts in Lost Origin for a lot of people, and a lot of people really love the Trainer Gallery in Lost Origin, so I think they are focusing more on that, but Galarian Persecur definitely trending downward, uh, settling at $40 right now after a low of $37.07. Then we've got the Garatina V-Star. Garatina, very competitive card. Once Lugia came out, it really started hurting Garatina, and you can see it trending downward quite a bit. $29.49 is the three-month high for this one. Not too long after release, end of September there, and then it's just been going down since then, up until uh, the beginning of December, where it seems to have leveled off a little bit. It hit $19.37 at the beginning of December, and then it's kind of come back a little bit. $20.17 is where it's settling right now, but we'll see what happens if that continues to move upwards or not. And then we've got the Giratina Gold card, which is actually selling for less than the Rainbow Rare variant. So uh, these gold cards, very, very interesting to me. I do like the design. I like the look, uh, but definitely not in demand. So it'll be interesting to see what Pokemon does moving forward with Rainbow Rares and gold cards because the demand just doesn't seem to be there with alternate arts. But that's another thing. Are they going to continue alternate arts in Scarlet and Violet? So many unanswered questions, so many uh, assumptions. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, 35.52 was a three month high for this one at the end of September. You can see it dropped all the way down to $16.69 at the beginning of November. Now it's kind of leveled off over the last couple months. It's sitting at $16.99 currently, but that's still uh, much closer to its three month low than its three month high. Very, very surprising. Uh, relatively affordable for a gold card of Giratina stature. Then we've got Chorus's Experiment. This is the most expensive full art trainer in Lost Order. Origin. Not a whole lot of hype behind the full art trainers in Lost Origin. There's a little bit better of a selection in sets like um, 
Silver Tempest, Brilliant Stars, 1766 is the high point for this one, which it hit at the end of September. This is an extremely competitive card. It'll be very interesting to see what happens with this card in specific once rotation hits. Uh, it did drop all the way down to $12.36. That's its three-month low. You can see pretty much since the end of November, it's consistently been right around that $12, $13 mark. So we'll see how it does uh, moving forward in January. Then we're going to look at some trainer gallery cards, which are really starting to trend upwards and move in the upward direction. Uh, this Pikachu VMAX, probably a lot of people's favorite card in the set outside of maybe that Giratina, that Aerodactyl. Definitely a lot of favorites in the trainer gallery for Lost Origin. Uh, 42, I think these numbers are actually flipped. 55.92 was its three-month high, which it hit in September. You can see it dropped all the way down to $42.36 at the beginning of November, but now it started to climb quite a bit. It's actually closer to its three-month high than its three-month low. It's jumped about 10% over the last two months or so. It's sitting at $49.93, but definitely trending in the upward direction which is interesting considering the fact how much Lost Origin is on the market. A lot of Lost Origin uh, booster packs available in collection boxes and things like that. After Lost Origin released, it was crazy the onslaught of just collection boxes and tins that came out. Lots of Lost Origin packs available, so lots of cards uh, with Pikachu VMAX's name on it pulled out of those booster packs. If we look at the Pikachu V, this is the second most expensive card uh, in the trainer gallery. Look at what it's done over the last couple months here. So it had a high point of $31.79. It hit that at the beginning of October. October, then jumped or dropped all the way, dropped about 20% over the next month. You can see at the beginning of November, it looked like it was heading in a downward spiral. It hit $24 at the beginning of November, then kind of leveled off a little bit and then skyrocketed up, just shot up at the end of November. And it's sitting at $31.15, currently much closer to a three month high than a three month low. Then we've got the Eternatus VMAX. This card has been steadily rising since the set really came out at the end of September, is actually when it hit a three month low of $10.42. It's been very very slow, very organic growth for Eternatus VMAX, sitting at $13.81 at the beginning of December as its three months high. It's backed off a little bit, but still sitting at $12.87 currently, still following that uh, upward trajectory trend, which is very interesting. Then we've got the Mew VMAX, the black and gold cards in Lost Origin, definitely much, much stronger than what we saw from the Urshifus, from the Calyrex, and even from the Rayquaza and Duraludon that we just got in Silver Tempest. These cards are still selling for double digits compared to those other ones that only sell for a few dollars. Um, UV, VMAX at one point in time was selling for $12.06. That was at the end of September. Uh, you can see it fell all the way down to $10.42. Uh, it actually looks like it fell lower than that. So I have to look at my numbers here. It looks like it actually hit about the $9 mark at the beginning of November before starting to come back a little bit, gained about 20% back. It's sitting at $11.25 currently, still closer to its three month high than its three month low. And then we've got the Pikachu VMAX currently selling at $10.78, very close to a three month high. It actually hit a three month month high a couple weeks ago of $10.94, kind of following the same trend as some of these other trainer gallery cards where uh, at one point in time at the end of September, they were pretty high, then they crashed down. Looks like beginning of November is when a lot of these started kind of shooting back up a little bit. This one fell down to $8.33 before jumping about 20% again. Over the past couple months, it hit a new three month high and that's kind of where it's settled now. Then we've got a couple cards that I just wanted to look at because they are easier to pull cards. Uh, Lost Origin is very, very unique because the first half of the trainer gallery, the cards that are much easier to pull than the second half of the trainer gallery, actually have some value to it, which is weird. When you consider the other sets, the beginning of the trainer gallery, very, very cheap. Most of them can be had for a buck or two bucks, but the Charizard, for example, very in-demand card, very, very popular Pokemon. Uh, look at what this has done over the last couple months. So at the end of September, it was hovering right around $7. Stayed consistently at that point until November, where it dropped to a three-month low of $5.68. And then at the beginning of November, like a lot of other uh, a lot of other trainer gallery cards, just kind of shot up. It's sitting at a three-month high right now of $8.91 and continues to trend in that upward direction. Uh, Sleepy Pikachu, kind of doing the same thing. However, over the last couple weeks, it's taken a pretty big hit uh, since the begin or middle of December. Uh, stayed consistently right around that $4.20 mark up until the beginning of November where it fell down to $3.63. Uh, jumped about 20% again where it hit a three-month high of $5.49 uh, around uh, December 20th or so. And then over the past week, it has fallen. Uh, $3.63 is its low. $4.38 is where it's currently sitting at. 
at. So right in between its three month high and three month low, but still a really popular card. Same thing with like Snorlax, same thing with Gengar, a lot of in-demand cards from the trainer gallery, I think is going to help Lost Origin uh, immensely in the long run. That's it. That's all the cards that we're going to be looking at. Let me know in the comments section what you think about Lost Origin, where maybe it ranks for me. It's right after Evolving Skies. Lost Origin is my uh, second favorite set in the entire Sword and Shield block to open up. I love the trainer gallery artwork. I love the chase for the alternate arts. I think they're absolutely amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you do, uh, if you did, hit that subscribe button down below. Share the channel. Leave a like. Leave a comment. It goes a long way for the algorithm. If not, tell me what I can do uh, to improve. I really appreciate the feedback. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope to see you tomorrow uh, at our big stream. Until then, guys, peace.